up Tuesday night y'all know what time it is it's your man so chuckified with it's C doc again up in this piece got a mad show tonight y'all can't even can't even begin to tell you how excited I am See, uh, we got some folks checking in. CM Lugo, what up? Kevin Taylor, what up? What up? Let's unpack this. Mad urgency. Myron and Knackwurst in the house. We're kicking it back in the 80s for y'all tonight. What were y'all doing when you all saw this movie? Heard this song. How many people are tripping on Lucinda Dickey? That's what I want to know. She had that little cropped hair. You may have known her better from, uh, what was it? Some ninja movie she was in. It was Ninja 3, the, I don't know what it was. Break North Radio in the house. What's up? What's up? Without further ado, I'm going to bring on one of the co-hosts on the show. You know him as the man, DJ M Rock. What's up, M Rock? Yo, what's up? How's it going, Chuck? You say a one for the trouble, two for the time. I got some, Come uh, on, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love that. Like, I, I might break down and, and do a windmill. Yeah, you should, man. Influence, get them. What's up, salute, homie? Dude, the best breakbeat ever. I'm about to jump back and get my turbo on. That's right, man. Boogaloo shrimp in this month. Let's ask the Magic 8 Ball if we need to move on to our next intro tonight. Let's see what it says. Should we keep the music going or introduce? Let's see. Should we introduce the guy we named this after? Keep the beat going, dog. 
Oh, I got something uh, a little queued up for the for the man, the myth, the legend that's about to come on. Okay, most likely, it says we should interview him or bring him on. So the eight ball says that we should bring him on, y'all. Let's do it. Go. So, let's do it. Go see the doctor. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, what's happening, everybody? What's up, C Doc? Up. Glad the mic works. Sorry, I was just laughing. The Mara was uh, <laughs> she was gonna jump in the shot for a minute. Uh, Mara, let us know what she's doing in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hype style in the house. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? It's another episode of It's C Doc again. So, Guess so what? See, so see the doctor. Tonight is lucky 13. Episode 13. Damn. Yeah, son. Ooh, 13 shows? Yep. How, how's wow. about that? That's amazing. How, how about hey. that? Hey, M Rock. Yes, sir. Cut, cut that down for a second. I got a special, uh, a special thing I wanted to play. Just a little snippet of uh, <laughs> got to commemorate it. this episode. Uh, this this is not what we had talked about previously. This is something else I found, but mm. it, it fits with our kind of late '80s theme. So I wanted to to cue it up here. Do See it. if anybody remembers this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, that situation is hot. The Arabian Prince. Yeah, man. Rocking his NWA shirt. <laughs> yes, <Right>. son. <laughs> Woo, anyway, yeah. I had to bring it out. Whew. Man, we got 21 people streaming this shit tonight. That's what's up, party people. Come on. There ain't 21 people in the chat. Party people in the place to be KRS1 attack. Dude, oh, Rocky. Herbie Hancock. Little, you know, I love an alliterative name. I wish I had an alliterative name. You could change your name. I could. I mean, this far in, it's probably going to cause more problem than it's worth. Yeah, you have had that name for 50 years, so. <laughs> That's right. Get some brand equity in that name, Chuck. Right. Exactly. I feel like we're, we're getting our uh, show legs under us. It feels very nice and loose tonight. You know? Gotta be. Oh. Gotta be, you know? Yeah. So... Oh, let me go to the next slide here. We got a. As you know, we are mm-hmm. sponsored by the man, the myth, the legend, Chuck B with the RSTVapp.com, Rap Station Radio, where you can find most of the people in the chat that work for that uh, and curate along with Doc and others. It's your one stop shop. Flatline in the house. Flat line. Flat Repping line. hip-hop gods. What up, bro? Speak of the guy. Speak of speak of the rap station. So whose name do you all like the most? I mean, I've got my the one that I really like to see in here just because I like the name. So which one do you all like? When you see it in the chat, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's Knackwurst. It's just a great name, Knackwurst. Oh, yeah. Who is Knackworth, Sea Doc? Uh, that's the homie. That's the homie, Big Al. Big so, Al. Yep. Big Al. Al Roth, Roth, <laughs> Rotham Sockham from the enemy board way from back the in enemy. the day. Yeah. Al is a, Al, Al introduced me to uh, that. Uh, he was the person that told me that they. Um, you can get weed delivered in California. I was like, wow, that's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. You know, if it was legal here in Kentucky, I would absolutely be driving that shit around. You know? I mean, you probably make fat money. Right. Seriously. Plus the tips. <laughs> well, hold up. We got to pull this in for you. 
<laughs> Kevin of Taylor. Course. Of course, babe. He says he's partial to Kevin Taylor, but it's not a creative one. He's, it's a good he's name, Kevin. With his real name. Comes in with his real name. It's Kevin, a good name. Yeah, if we could give, get your social and your mom's maiden name and your date of birth, we'll be good. We'll be <laughs> oh, I need to tell you all. So I, I get a notice yesterday in the mail from the IRS, 1099G. And it says, oh, yeah, you got to claim the unemployment that you were paid last year. Of course, I was not unemployed. So my identity had been stolen. Oh, and four grand somebody got. Wow. Oh, got that going for me. You do. Yeah. That's what the G is for, because you're a gangster. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's like Fred G. Sanford. The G stands for we're going to get your money one way or another. <laughs> yes. So I have a new show beat for tonight, and then I forgot to find the uh, video I was going to use. So we're going to do Make It or Break It next week. I'm not going to share what it is, but I would like to pull on some content that we find on social media and let you all decide whether we keep it or pitch it. That's cool. It's kind of like the I, uh, old school radio stations used to do. I, I had a song. I had a song once that was on a Make It or Break It. How'd you do? Fitty fitty. All right. Yeah. Well, Switzerland. Can't be bad at that. It's neutral. Yeah. It's all right. So did they have it? I thought it was a make it or break it. They didn't have like a push, did they? It was. You know what? I don't even remember how it got on the station. Honestly, somebody. I made this. I made a joint. Put it on a tape. Somebody slid it to somebody else. It ended up on the make it or break it. I'm like, how'd I do? They're like, well, you got 50-50. I was like, okay. I guess I can't be mad at that. Yeah. So. I don't even remember what song it was now. Yeah, I was wondering. Um, like, was that when you were um, when you were doing it with uh, the Impossibles, or was that before the Impossibles? No, it was before the Impossibles. We're talking four track, four track days in the '90s, some mid '90s, I think it was. Yeah, I don't remember. But you know what's you know what else is funny about that? Um, some of the people that heard the song hadn't yeah. met me, and when they met me, they were like, "You're white." <laughs> well, people still do that. Wait, you yeah. are? Yeah. yeah. So I, <laughs> so I've heard. So That's I've been crazy. told. I know, Next right? Tell me, Santa Claus doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm really, I'm really excited since we don't have the make it or break it this week. First of all, can everybody see the uh, it's C Doc again t shirt? We'll get into that in just a moment, but uh, we will be selling these. Looks um, good. Yeah. So uh, if you want to, you know, clothe your significant other in a sweet, supple cotton polyester mix. With our names, mm. um, yeah, comfy. Yeah. So, Imrock, can you uh, kill the beat for a second? Absolutely. All right. So, you know, this show's been going through some changes. You know, makes me think of Tupac. Um, or David Bowie. Or David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had Imrock, who's been a wonderful addition to the show. Thank you, Imrock. Thank you for having me. Give it up for Imrock. Yeah, y'all. Oh, Everybody. come on, son. I know, right? Anywho. So we've had Imrock join the show the last couple of shows ago, and now we are pleased to have an announcement of a, another person added to the fray and we're not going to divulge who that is yet because i would like to if you guys are willing i would like to uh to propose a toast for this new person coming on mm. and we're gonna um have a toast real quick but i need some toasting music so i'm gonna turn on some toasting music <laughs> All right. 
So everybody, put your drinks up. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that was a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh shit! Or so, shucks. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, hey. Let's let this play a little bit. So we can remember. Yeah. How's the day today? You miss me? Are you good? Yeah. Uh, I must apologize today. That's right. Now close your mouth because you're cold. Cold busted. busted. My favorite part's coming up here. My first impulse was to run up on you, do a Rambo. Rambo, do a Rambo. Flat blast both of you. I ain't want to mess up this thirty-seven hundred dollar Lynx coat. Thirty-seven hundred dollar Lynx coat. I chill. So he chilled. Chill. Then went to the bank. Took out went to the dime. bank. Took out a dime. Wait. All those credit cards. Yeah. My favorite part. All Here it comes. Counts. Yeah. I stuck you up for every piece of jewelry I ever bought you. Yeah, that's right. Everything. everything. Yeah, here we go. Here he comes. It fly with me. No, don't go. You don't go. Don't go looking in that closet because you ain't got nothing. No, 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 no. Don't uh, don't go looking in the closet. All right, y'all. Without further ado, we are introducing the newest member of its C Doc again, and you know her as Jenny. Oh, Jenny, what's up? What? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's up Jen? guys what's up what's up what's up jen welcome we will have a little discussion about that song later <laughs> we have to uh -oh. let the people know because we, we're we only hinting little, at it we will have a little discussion about that later yes that was that was the joint when i was growing up and working for my dad at the golf course and cleaning golf carts and anytime that joint would come on man we would just die laughing it was the best the rain by orange juice jones man yeah it's the best kevin said every show is going to be like this Lambaganza. yes i'm, I'm hoping by the end of the year that everybody in the chat will be a, an official member of the show so that's right yeah. Well, they will be when they purchase one of these fine T-shirts. One of those fine T-shirts. Made, made, made by the one and only Jenny, <laughs> Jenny. But Jenny, can you stand up and show them the limited edition Hamilton version of the show? <laughs> there's only uh -huh. one. Yeah, there's only one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and sometimes Chuck D. So far, there's only one. <clears throat> I'm digging Amir Laster. Uh, let me pull his comment in here. My nutsack is black. Right. All right. Well, at least he let us know. Yeah. Good to know. Thanks, Amir. I, I like Appreciate to have it. a warning first, so thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Only Jenny got that oh. joke. <laughs> Jenny gets a lot of jokes. So, I mean, I've tried to put us in... Um, some sort of uh, age order here. So C Doc is clearly the oldest. He's up at the top. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Clearly. And then M Rock, and then Jenny, and then me. Oh, there it oh. is. So. Sorry, you're right. the baby of the show, Chuck. But yeah, I know. So Jenny, tell us just a, a little bit about yourself. Oh. Why? Why me. should? Why should you be on this show? Tell us why. Tell us why you, we are enamored with you. <laughs> well, I, Where do you no, see yourself in 20 years? Um, how, why should I be on this show? Let's see. Um, should we go all the way back to a little radio station called KDAY? That's a good start. And yes. when I used to work there? You, you've been in it for a minute, huh? <laughs> Can't hear anything. I got nothing. All right. Can't oh. hear anything. Mm -hmm. New girl. Show what she's doing over there. Got to fly out there. Are you had her shower? Oh, 
Somebody says that they don't see Jenny on the show here. Great. Let's unpack this. Okay, that's great. Who's on there? Okay, they lost Angel stand up. Right. Yep. Ooh, that works with that salt <laughs> and uh, profile uh, pick. Wrap, I like. All right, can you hear us? No. Jenny has really good hair. She does. Yeah. I think Chuck, she you and I has. go to the same barber, Talk so we admire people's hair. Yeah. I haven't seen a minute. You haven't seen one in a minute, you froze. Oh. Hair. Oh, hair. I'm glad our uh, our guest waiting in the green room is being very patient tonight. Oh, yeah. That. Putting Sir. up with all our nonsense. Yeah. Let me add this part to the screen while Jenny's figuring out her. Uh, her. I'm going to mute her while I can. Yeah, that way we don't hear her knocking around. <laughs> Um, this day in rap and hip hop history brought to you by the good people down at Chuck D that should be like the name of a store. Chuck D the corporation, yeah. Chuck D corporation, Chuck D corp. Yep. Yeah. So February 1st, 1994. Good year. Good year. You any guesses? Oh yeah, that's right. M rock shared it. All right. M rock. There you go. There it is. All right, here, here we, we go. Here we go. Let's try that again. Yo, yo, Mona Lisa, could I get a date on Friday? And if you're busy, I wouldn't mind taking Saturday. Hey, 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 hey. Round of the Posse Fuji coming around the way. Yeah, we met them. Hey, Chuck. What you got to? I got some of that little bit of the Ah, uh, the foodies. You know, like a thing going last week was Home Loaf, who has a song called Chiba Chiba. You lead this one off with Chiba Chiba. Right. right. Just if you all forgot, I'm going to pull this up occasionally during the show. <laughs> <laughs> Amir's nut sack is still black. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Amir, can you uh, can you confirm that for us that it still is, please? Ew. Yeah. When, when you get a moment, I drop any photos in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Just a comment is good. Yeah. yeah, or fax it to us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a this is a dope album because basically it was the Fuji's debut. They were still finding themselves. You can hear that their sound is kind of there, but it's not like it was on the score. But that was the song off the album that kind of was like the, the catalyst into the score. But this is the original version of Nappy Heads, which, unpopular opinion, I like much more because this, this song goes hard AF. So here we go. Same song, whole different vibe. I didn't realize that the Fujis were trying to do the Onyx thing. I didn't realize they started off like that. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't even know that was the Fujis, right? Yeah, they exactly. Didn't sound like them, but damn, I love that song. Hmm, so, interesting. So there you have it. Yeah, Nappy Heads. Do you remember yo. the first? Do you remember the first time you saw or heard, um, Lauren Hill? Um, no. that wasn't a rhetorical yeah. question. Okay. The uh. The first time I heard her was on Fuji La, and I was like, "What is this? I gotta get this immediately." It was just amazing. Um, and I, then I started like digging deeper, and I saw the music videos, and then I dig a little bit deeper, 
And I saw her first performance at the Apollo where she got booed off the stage. This is before Fuji. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. If you YouTube it, you'll you can look it up. She's much younger and everything. But um yeah, big Fuji's fan. Love it. So she came full circle then, because didn't they like boo her for her live album or whatever that was? <laughs> haters. Ouch. I have... Yeah. Listen, possibly. The first time I heard Lauren Hill or saw her was not with the Fugees. It was with Sister Act Two. I was gonna. I was just about to say you're gonna, oh you're gonna say Sister Act Two, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Sister Act. Friggin' fantastic movie. But Sister Act right. 2, not so much? Oh. No, I like Sister Act 2 better than Sister Act 1. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of like I like Heights Girl 2 better than Heights Girl 1. I, well, just, <laughs> it's kind of a step I, I tried, up. man. I tried. If y'all haven't checked out uh, Heights Girl 2, you can get that on Tubi. T-U-B-I. You can watch that shit. Wow. Our man Sea Doc. Thanks for the, the plug. Lens. Yeah. I was watching that the other night while I was talking to Jenny O. Jenny, who keeps me up late at night talking strategy. Mm. I love oh strategy. My fault. <laughs> I'm into nuns. You know, there is a good nun clip uh, that got banned from the internet. I'll leave it at that. Um, you might find that. Send that is that uh, two is nuns it? in a chalice? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going straight to hell for that. Wow. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that was awesome. You just made my day with that. Uh, yeah, this bro. is why you guys keep me around for the occasional, you know, really off color yes. joke. Yes. Oh, it was the nuns with the black nut sack. <laughs> My my favorite nun clip is the one where uh, Magnum PI shoots the nun on the ladder. So. Yes, that's yeah. a classic. Yeah, nuns don't work on Sunday. That's right. Waving automatic guns at nuns. There you go. No, I'm not at Sundance this year. Hype. I'm uh, sitting in my office. See, I did not play, play man. He's, he's underground. That's right. right. Hype, I honestly lost track. Been a handful. Doc, so. you know what day it is. I know it's Tuesday. Okay. And I only know that because I did the promo for the show this morning. <laughs> you mean Rocco let you do the promo with him this morning? Yeah. I, oh, he was. Oh, no. He goes. Um, he goes. Said to me. Uh. I said, hey, Rock, we got to do the show promo. He goes, ah, again. I'm like, I'm like, okay, you don't have to do it. I'll, I'll just do it myself. And he goes, no, no, I'm coming, Dad. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you out, you know. Jeez. Right. Like, what were you thinking, dude? Four and a half but year he's, old. He's so good at it, though. Well, I know. That's why he wasn't going to let me do it by myself. He's like, I gotta do the, I gotta do the 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 first part. What's up, all? Oh, it's T Doc again. <laughs> Jimmy, tell us something good. Come on, you're just sitting over there like a bump on a log. You're usually like in the chat. And you're tell you something shop, good. Like wreck shop, man. We brought you on here to be the rabble rouser. <laughs> With a loose cannon on here. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, um, you wanna talk, tell them who's coming on next week, give them a sneak preview, or we wanna save that to the end of the show. No. Ooh. Should we? Yeah, why not? Oh, well, let me put you full screen here, girlfriend. Maybe this person, person who wrote this. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Snoop and Cuban and Ice T are all coming. No, uh, uh, Soren Baker. Nice. Yes. Anybody who knows Soren Baker? Soren. Soren does um, some really. Soren's perfect for the show because he does really nerdy 
deep dive interviews with artists and yes. um yes and he asked a lot of i know <laughs> you have a story about that but uh i know or, or i prefer his i prefer his interviews you know because i like to hear all the nerdy stories to uh vlad vlad just you know right me the wrong way but culture vulture boo <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Uh, did it, though? Um, I am, a, no, I am getting really. a little concerned about the number of whites we have on the show. So It's a very be, white show. I, I know. It really kills me. Yeah. Um, it's all good, though. Yep. Oh, wait. Here we go. Hype style. Yeah. What's up? Black History Month today. That's right. Word salute. Yep. It's also Year of the Tiger, which was the year I was born. So, oh yeah, it's my yeah. favorite Survivor song. I the Tiger. Wow. Year of the Tiger. It was actually the original. Oh, so, see, let me let me you know, let me go back historical for you. It was called Year of the Tiger, and they changed it for the movie. Really? No, I did not no, know that. Sure. No, it's <laughs> I'm lying my ass off. <laughs> I appreciate no you humor me though. Of course. Don't. I don't. That was back in the day when I was listening to Arabian Prince at my prom. She's got a big posse. Yes, she does. Jen, that's not about you, is it? No. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Sorry. No. Only De La Soul. Oh, wow. Doc, really? No, wow. my uh, my cousin John was playing that in the in the car with his mom when that came out, and she, and she she's like, "What is this?" And he's like, "It's Arabian Prince, Mom. She got a big posse." Like, oh, I know what he's talking about. I know. And John's like, "What's he talking about, Mom?" She says, "Oh, I know. I know what he's talking about." No, he was That's just talking about a posse. That's all exactly. Saying. That's what we kept saying. Oh shit! You're not right on with some. Uh... <laughs> I have to the, tell you, the year of the tiger. Yeah, <laughs> it's, the, it's the remix of "I of the Tiger." You yeah. called year of the Paul tiger. Filler. El Tigre. You remember that? Please, please tell me it's called "Year of the Tiger" remix. I wish it is the Ayor Tursanov remix. Oh, yeah, Russian. That's enough of that. I have to tell you, my favorite mix utilizing I the Tiger is DJ Clues. Um, I think it's DJ Clue that did the Ice Cube I the Tiger nice remix. Have y'all heard that? Kind of familiar. So I no. asked him, hey, do I know you? Oh, I have to find it. Dude, it's freaking amazing. Hmm. Interesting. All right, good. Background music sounds good, M Rock. So Yay. know that you're doing a fantastic job, dude. Woohoo! Thanks, sir. Silver Surfer. So anyway, uh, tonight yes. we're gonna tonight we're gonna talk hip hop soundtracks and movies with a guy who knows a lot about that stuff. Like I thought I knew a lot about that stuff, but I don't know shit compared to this brother. Because Bashan is a uh, yes, there he is. He is a um, just a, a head filled with knowledge and facts, and he's a lot of fun to talk to. And he has his own podcast, Viewer Discretion Advised. I don't think actually, I think that's the other Viewer Discretion Advised podcast because there's another one. So that's that's the. I don't that's, think, you think this is the right one. It's not. Good. Yeah, it's Shit. not. <laughs> you told me to play a joke on him, Doc. I mean, listen, the sound was nice tonight, okay? So get off, get off your black nut sack, all right? <laughs> it's all good. That's all they made funk in the house. So, anyway. Let's I think we should on. bring the we should bring the man on. He's been waiting patiently. So, uh, the homie, the stromy, Sean Q in the house. What up, Sean? What's going on? What's going on? What Can you hear me? What's going on, y'all? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. For, uh, uh, with the shirt. 
Oh yeah. Show him the shirt. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's yes. Oh, right there. Yeah. yeah that was, without the uh, see. <laughs> <laughs> What's going, on? man? See, Doc. No, we've been wanting to talk for so long now. Well, actually, I know. A couple times, you know, on the phone, but this is like the first time we're actually seeing one another here. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. it's good. Uh, yeah, I actually this is me trying to make up for the phone call that I owed you <laughs> from two years ago. So oh, that when I when I was out your way in okay. Cali. But right, right. so I see I see you got the poster. You got the, the tougher yeah. than leather poster. Oh absolutely. Yeah. I, I just listened I just listened to the episode, the tougher than leather episode last night. <laughs> You know, I still get flack about that, man. People are like, you're the only cat that defends tougher than leather. I'm like, hey, no <laughs> trespass, no New Jack City without tougher than leather. Well, it's the first. The first tell, official. Tell us the story. What happened? What's the story? Tell us the story. No. Um, what? Well, the reason why I did the episode for tougher than leather <laughs> is that I heard a podcast episode with Quentin Tarantino on air or on a, and he was talking about King of New York and he was stated that King of New York was the first hip-hop gangster movie and I disagree with that uh, Brother Tougher Than Leather is the first some may say covers but Tougher Than Leather is the first official gangster rap movie <laughs> and what's crazy is that both of those films both king of new york and tougher than leather were both made in dubai cinema uh, eventually uh artisan what, what we know now is the uh um, what was it uh, lions gate entertainment or artisan yeah. then yeah eventually uh i think getting the rights to it but both of those films are new line cinema product you know so that, that's that's the story behind it so God. so you can you were you're not the only one to fend tougher right. than leather because I talked to my dude um, Chris Nab today. He's right. like, I love tougher than leather. He goes, I saw it the day it opened. I saw right. the day it opened the first showing, the matinee. My buddy right. and I went at noon. Right. We skipped school to see it. Right. And um, I remember when it came out and seeing the trailer, mm -hmm. you know, the commercial for it on TV. I was like, Oh man, can I go see that? You know, and then it was like gone. You know, it was like it played, in, it played in Pittsburgh for like three days, and then they're like, you know. Yeah, for my little research, man, it made like like seven hundred thousand dollars the first week. Wow. Weekend, yeah, it didn't do well. Yeah, it bombed. But now, yeah. you know, I had the VHS. I, you know, a guy sold to me for about six bucks, but now the VHS is out of print, so you can't find it anymore. I think there's a, a bootleg company that may have pressed it up and put it on DVD, but um, I saw that. Like, yeah, but the, so now some people have posted up on uh on YouTube, but I don't think you can find a copy of JHS. You probably can't. I'm saying you can't. I'm just saying that if you get on Amazon, they sell them about three hundred pop and up. Wow. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, I know. Yes, yes. I, I know. I know Chuck. I know Chuck D has a copy. I tell him yep. to take care of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. big money. <laughs> You're talking about other VHS is big money. He's gonna be like, what? Yeah, <laughs> you know. So, so tell us a little bit, Lashawn, about yourself. There, there might be some folks on here that are not aware of who you are and what you do. So tell us a little bit about all of that. Well, I am the son of Shabadoo. Adolfo Quinone Shapadu, uh, better known as Ozone from the Breaking movies, Breaking One and Two, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> and uh, as far as what I do, man, I'm just a great good worker, fam. Uh, not in the business or anything like that. So, um, but I get on IG and I pass as much film and soundtrack information as I can to good gentlemen like C Dot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because yeah, how many how many film sessions we have, family? I think we've even talked about your first film, Rogue uh, Rogue Cop. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> wow, really? God damn! I can't even believe I. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to you need to pull that script out, man. Read can't me. believe I. Wow, I can't believe I actually went there. Okay. Yeah, Rogue Cop. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Shout out to Tyrade. Tyrade, <laughs> Tyrade was one of the stars of Road Cop. Right, um, right. 
Yeah. No, so, man. Yeah. Um, you're you're and and I love this fact. You gotta tell about your your parents. What are your your parents? Uh, your dad, Chapadu, but also your mom was. And, uh, well, they were both uh, on Soul Train. Yes, yeah, they both met on Soul Train. They did the original Soul Train. Mind yeah, seventy Soul Train, not eighty Soul Train. No disrespect, but seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they did. But the they didn't, um, I don't believe they had a, I think their first real conversation was at a uh, at a dance contest my dad was hosting at a place called Blueberry Hill. That's where they filmed uh, a lot of Dolomite movies there. So that was like their first official like meeting. But, you know, they had seen each other, of course, on Soul Train and then eventually becoming dance partners. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yes, so cool. Yes, indeed. I said we have 1580 in the house, K-Day? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah, K-Day Mix Masters. I used to definitely Absolutely. Take yes. Great <laughs> Mac, uh, uh, Mac Attack, and uh, what's my man? All that. K-Day Mix Masters. Yep, K-Day Mix Masters. Mm -hmm. Bobcat, let's see. K-Day Mix Masters, wow. Yeah, Ju uh, Julio G and uh, mm -hmm. Ralph M. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ralph M. the Mexican. <laughs> yeah, great guy, great guy. Yeah, dope. Mm -hmm. So, how's the podcast going, man? Man, so far so good, man. You know, uh, this is our third episode. Me and uh, my co-host is Zach here from uh, Jurassic Five, too. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, so he's the only cat crazy enough to. Get on there with me every Saturday afternoon and, and voice our opinions about movies because we both movie nerds. I think our first conversation was about three hours long, just movies. <laughs> so I said, "Okay, man, you definitely, we definitely got to do something together, man. Definitely." That's dope. Mm -hmm. Tell us the official Twitter accounts because I'm gonna follow it right now. I'm um, not on Twitter, but I'm on IG and Facebook. You can find me. All right, uh, what's it? Uh, yeah. Sean Q. Or you can find me at Fear of a Black Film Critic. Ah, public enemy. A uh, little, little nod to them. And, uh, or you can find me on Pure Discretion Advice POD Podcast. Gotcha. So you can find me there, yeah. Fear of a Black Film Critic is about the dopest fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, man. As you can tell, I, that was another conversation you and I had, man. Just PE stuff all day. Well, you know, a lot, of, real quick, you know, a lot of times, you know, when we talk about PE, uh, of course, the music is great, but a lot of times people overlook the videos. Their videos are phenomenal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Videos, so, the, the videos were a huge influence on me. Yes, yes. Shout huge out to, uh, yeah, Lionel C. Martin and uh, yep. another gentleman, another gentleman, I forget, Eric Meza. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Meza. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Eric. And uh, also, uh, also, uh, hold up real quick. Uh, I forget his name. But, uh, Which video? Uh, Black Steel and Our Chaos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, damn it. Ah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I know, right? Too. But anyway, uh, he directs Fargo now. Episodes for Fargo. So yes. He's still doing his thing. Also, later on... Um, I just found because I, I just found out I didn't I didn't realize uh, I talked to, I got a chance to have an email conversation with Mark Ellington. Oh, okay. And Mark Mark Ellington co-directed yep. Shut Him Down. Shut, shut Him Down, sure did. Yeah, which I didn't I didn't realize that. And then now that I know that, I'm like, oh, that totally perfectly makes sense. Real you quick, know. we have a one West Coast legend just popped up in here. Uh, shout out to my uncle uh, Uncle Bar Puppet Boozer from uh, the Electric Boogaloo's. Right there. Oh, oh word. Yeah, That's what's up. Well, Shout out started. to Uncle Marv. <laughs> yeah, but no, you're right about the visuals, man. They were um they were on a whole other level. And um um a huge influence. They because a lot of those guys let's talk about that real quick about right. hip hop videos back in the day because you uh, you've been dropping knowledge about that that like I've been learning stuff, um, you know, about the the video guys because it was only like a small at first. It was only like a small group of guys that were doing rap videos, right? Right, right. I mean, 
the OGs in the video music game was like, of course, Paris Barclay. He's one of them. I mean, he did stuff with you know, Kid and Play, Spike right. Lee too. Um, not a lot of videos, but he did some. He, he did some uh, number of videos. Who else I'm trying to think of? Millicent Shelton, uh, who's on doing uh, Blackish now. I'm trying to think of so many. Oh, Lionel C. Martin. He's another. Lionel C. Martin. Ralph, yeah. Ralph McDaniel. Yep. by Freddie. I think even Ice T directed a couple of his too. But there oh, wasn't. Yeah. Re- yeah, there wasn't. Oh, and also, I think someone that really kicked the door in for for rap videos to really, uh, you know, get those budgets. I believe is uh, Rupert Wainwright. Oh yeah. Word. Yeah he, yeah, he went on to do Stigmata, but he did Australia uh, Compton. Yeah. And he also did uh, one of your fellow rap guys, Awesome Dre's video, the Hardcore Committee. From yeah. Speaking. So, wow. Yeah, so those, yeah, so those a lot of these guys to come over, you know, guys like that to come over and really like push the door over for rap deals you know, to get a lot of uh, big budgets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Alan wow. Hughes, Alan and Albert Hughes. Yep. You know, they did big music videos. I mean, it's just so many people that went on to make up uh, major motion pictures. So they all got to yep. start doing rap videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Vashon, how long have you been interested in cinema and and video and, and movies and whatnot. Man, since 1983. <laughs> uh, you know, um, after my mother and father got divorced around that time, uh, we moved back to Compton, California. And there was a family uh, who became kind of like our uh, second grandparents. Uh, they had, you know, this den where, uh, you know, <laughs> these VCRs were set up and they would just dub these tapes and so they had their own business so they were like oh well go Sean go in the go in the room and just watch something so I spent countless hours just digging through the videos and so uh just became a film book there but learning film grammar really came from my dad because he attended AFI around uh, 1995 and graduated in 96. so he was like Sean you know you want to learn movies uh ground zeros right here <laughs> you know so he told me how to you know different shots and you know what's a master shot what's a ots and you know how to, you know how to put a screen play together things like that so really i get my film knowledge from him but just being a buff i was already doing that <laughs> Yeah, man, you definitely you definitely know more than the average cat, and and I knew that the first time we talked, and you started throwing questions at me. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm talking to somebody that knows what they're talking about. So. Right, thank you, thank you. I, I try. <laughs> no, yeah, man, it's all good. You know, I read, you know, I have a lot of film books at my disposal. You know, I take the work and you know try to learn as much as I can, and because people always ask me, you know, who did this and who did that, so. Always like to provide uh, some info as much as I can. <laughs> was your dad more instrumental in in um, breaking than just being in it? Um, no, um, nope. no, he was just an actor. <laughs> you know, um, but prior before that movie, he was in a documentary called Breaking and Entering. It was a documentary. Mm-hmm with uh, Topper Carew. Now he was a, a consultant on that movie. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so I think that's what got him, Shrimp, you know, Taco and uh, you know, Pop and Pete into that movie. I could be wrong, but I, I just remember it started with that documentary in, in particular, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, as far as directing anything, no, uh, that was it, he was just a, uh, an actor in the film. So what was it what was it like growing up with a famous dad that you know everybody knew and saw the movies <laughs> well i had to share them <laughs> you know um <laughs> you know um our relationship was you know uh, was a little rocky you know uh, i got this you know he was always pulled and uh, on tour or you know, doing something in entertainment so i didn't really get to see him as much but uh when we did, it was it was it was nothing but love, you know. Cool. Yeah, yeah. What's up? All right. 
That's what's up. Now, have you, Thank you have you shot any movies or videos or anything? Can people check out your content, or are you more of like like the armchair? Like you're you're going to give oh, your, your oh your definitely the armchair, definitely armchair. I'm I'm the human YouTube. You know, people okay. inbox <laughs> me and said, you know, where can I find this? And uh, I don't like to use the word horror, but I have a lot of magazines and books that you can't, you know, stuff you can't find. And uh, like I've processed this information so long that I finally need to get it out of my head. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, so I got waiting for I the gotta, book, bro. Waiting yeah, for the book. Yeah, so yeah. I got it loaded on uh, your C Doc, man. I mean, even as a kid, you know, when I would go to school, you know, I would have teachers and stuff that would, uh, you know, cut. You know, newspaper clippings and give me magazines to read about, uh, you know, Spike and John Singleton and things like that. And so I just took all that information and just processed it. You know what I mean? That's dope. No Who would you say your favorite director is? Oh, without a doubt, Spike. <laughs> He's the OG, man. And when I finally got to meet him, uh, which was recently, uh, last month. No, actually, oh, uh, December. No, December. And uh, went up there to get my book signed. And, you know, in your mind, you have all these questions you want to ask him. When you finally get, I got to him, I was like, ugh. <laughs> I couldn't I had remember nothing. any of I, I couldn't remember anything. And he's looking at me like, you know, why are you standing? I'm like, oh, oh. And when I finally got together, um, he opened up a lot more. But I, I have a lot of uh, vintage uh, spikes joint stuff, like clothes, like jerseys and stuff. So when he saw that, he opened up. He was like, "Oh, oh!" In, in my in my uh, typical Spike Lee uh, voice, he was like, "Oh, oh, that's vintage. I haven't seen that. Wow!" He goes, and so and he went, and so it's a trip is with the places that we at. He was not supposed to sign anything other than his book. So he stopped and said, "Yo, I gotta sign that jersey." And then he signed my hoodie and everything. And he was like, "Man, you guys are fans." And so I'm like. Absolutely, you know, we don't travel all the way from the IE and at LA traffic <laughs> and not be a fan, you know. Yeah. So, got to be a but, uh, but of course, Alan Hughes, Alan, you know, the Hughes brothers is another one, you know. Uh, and you know, of course, like people like Jim Jarmish. I mean, this goes on and on, you know. Yeah. C Doc, of course. Uh, oh come on, man. <laughs> Carpenter. That's what it was like when I met C Doc. I was like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I know what it's like. <laughs> meet, meet your idol. Right. I'm like, I, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, right. with, with you guys, I'm like, you guys know who I am? <laughs> like, what the hell? Sweet, uh, what, dude, I love your movie, man. Uh, what's it, uh, Sweet Charlotte? Sweet Chat? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Sw yeah, Sweet Jet. Yeah, Barbie, man. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Um, yeah. Seeing Chuck. Oh, that's another one. See that, right? When Chuck was in Pasadena. Yeah. Remember that? At that yep. art exhibit? Yes. And you, were, I was like, oh, man, I can finally beat my idol. And uh, they were turning people back. Like, oh, this is a private event. Nope. I'm like, what? I was hot. And Chuck saw that. He came outside. He's like, and that voice, yo, what's what's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, man, you know, God, well, you know, wanted to beat you, and so, uh, you know, we shook hands and took a picture, but that wasn't enough. I paid that hundred dollars to get in, and we had a nice conversation, and <laughs> got one of his uh, his portraits. He signed one of his, uh, yeah. So I was like, wow, man. He's like, how much you pay for that? I said, a hundred dollars. Man, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Man, that's ridiculous. I'm like, I would have paid 200 just to talk to you. You know what I mean? So we had a great conversation. And then uh, I know, as you can see, I'm wearing my Stax hat. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a big Stax fan. So uh, we talked about Watt Stax. And also, my family is in that, that documentary. Really? Yeah. Uh, two members in particular. Uh, Greg is in there, rest in peace, and uh, my uncle, uh, Fookie Lou, Leo, he was in there. Wow. And, and rerun, too, for our better, Mr. Pink one. You know, so yeah. he was in there, too. So, um, so yeah. So we talked about it, and then, uh, you know, it was just a real honor to meet Chuck. 
And so, uh, strange numbers, but <laughs> I told him that, uh, yeah, hey, you know, my, my dad Shabadoo, he's in the, uh, yo, really? <laughs> 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 Man, you look like him. <laughs> you like, you okay, do. I'm, thank you. Thank you. I, I, you I'm do. So, 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 thank you. So, uh, you know, one of, those, one of those moments I'll never forget. Yeah, man. So what's up, man? Uh, we're gonna talk about we're talk about the soundtracks. What's up, man? Oh, by the way, here it you know, here's, here's the uh, the autograph. Ah, uh, uh, beauty. You know, right here. Nice. This should have been turned into a movie. This whole album oh, I know, right? is a film, right here. I know, right? And I have this too. I have you know, Thorn Baker. Yeah, I guess we're I guess we're talking to Soren next week. So yes, sir. So yeah. I heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great book. So yeah. Book. So so let's talk about let's talk about. Um, I have this thing, you know, this uh, thing about rap soundtracks, and I I, I like the obs- the more obscure ones. But let's talk about um, what is what was the first? What was the what was the first like that you consider that you think like the first rap? soundtrack album i don't want no hip-hop historians mad at me <laughs> well that's what i'm saying you know, uh, yeah, I'm, um, we can beat this all day but yeah i know um you want to say crush Guru, probably you want to say probably i mean yeah i mean you know i'm not gonna say break it because that was more of r&b in there and only right has one rap song in there shout out to chris the glove um, but yeah, Crush Groove, possibly, you know what I mean? Right. Maybe even B Street, around there. Yeah. Yeah. But, but see, my era was more 90s. That was, okay, <laughs> that was, yeah, okay, there it is. That was, uh, that was more on my era because that was the time where I was hitting the, the cinemas tough. Yeah. You know, got my little yeah. allowance money, little, you know, ride my bike and whatever, so... Uh, yeah, the '90s is like on my speed right there, and and that's when I think it really that it became a viable thing, kicked into gear. You know, right. the first one I kind of became aware of was Colors. Oh, you yeah, know, I got yeah. it back there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I too. just I just heard something. I just heard an interview with Ice T about that. About right. the song. Uh huh. You want to, you want to recount yeah, the story, about Jeff? How he, about how he um they had asked him to do like an intro, and and he ended up um he asked them if they had a like a theme song for it, and he and they said, well, you know, Rick James James did one, and it, but it's at the end, right? So right. he said, okay, let me do it, then. and that's yeah. when. That's when he did colors. Because I think because if you listen to the soundtrack, you know, it's it's Warner Brothers pulling songs from their rap catalog that they had right. at the time. Yeah. And I think I said they wanted yeah, Knackworth, N- thank you. They said they wanted to uh, you squeeze the trigger. Right. And uh I think he w- didn't he go see yeah. the movie, Jen? They they had a screening of it for him or something. Yeah. Like in progress or something, and then he and Aladdin went and, and cut the record. Yeah. All right. Nah, we uh, do the song. Shout out to DJ Aladdin. Yeah. Hell City. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, so you guys. But I said something about um, because of that record, he said everybody thought he was in the movie. Yes. That's right. Yeah. yeah. What were you going to say, M Rock? Oh, I was going to say, what do you guys think of the Wild Style soundtrack? Oh, yeah, thank oh, you. Absolutely, That's absolutely. like the granddaddy of all. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, we blew it. That's all right. right. (laughs) Sorry about that, (laughs) y'all. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you, gents. Yeah. It's still early. Wild snow. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) You know. Can I uh, I ask a question about breaking? I've always wanted to know this. Okay, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So I was wondering, because it is a Hollywood movie, Mm-hmm. How much influence maybe your dad or other people had who actually were like aware of the culture, knew what it was about, and how much of that translated into the movie versus how much did Hollywood Hollywood it up, if you know what I mean? Ooh. 
<laughs> let me let me let me take a a, a DeLorean back to the '80s for a second. All right, cool. uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, man, I have no idea, but I know my dad was just being himself. They hired him for like what he wore. That was already like that was no costume ring. That's what he wore. That's what shrimp wore. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it wasn't a uh, you know something that Hollywood made up. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously the film is you know uh, scripted by uh, well, actually a number of people have scripted, from my understanding. You know, uh, <laughs> the first team I believe, from according to Dad, was removed. The direct first director was removed, and then Joel Silberg came from uh, Israel. Oh. And didn't understand, you know, what he was doing, and so Dad <laughs> had to explain it, and so, uh, <laughs> and so, the team of writers had to go into a hotel for a weekend and rewrite the script just to get it in front of uh, Monday. So, wow. yeah, so the original director was uh, fired, from my understanding. Like he only did like a, like maybe a day, and then they looked at the footage and like, okay, we're going to remove him and then replace him with somebody else. Wow. So uh, yeah, so I mean that's the information I got from pops, but yeah, I can wow. tell you, Radiotron was one hundred percent real. Oh yep, yeah, <laughs> radio, yeah, right, right, one hundred percent. So, 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 do you have a favorite, a favorite uh, hip hop soundtrack, rap soundtrack? Favorite hip hop soundtrack? You know, I just talked to a friend of mine today about this uh i'm gonna have to start off yeah you may have a I'm couple have, huh yeah oh yeah i'm gonna have to start off with new jack city though this is really a it, okay yeah i'm glad you brought up new jack city yeah because there's only like three rap joints on it <laughs> but but you know what though it didn't need to be over have too much rap in it you know what i mean it's like a perfect blend of both you dig what I'm saying? It's like yeah. it's R and B, has you know, a guy on there, I'm <laughs> Ice T. To me, it's perfect. We it's top, top to bottom, like a flawless album for me as far as, in terms of soundtracks. But another one I will pick too will probably have to be. Let's see. I have my head. I'm gonna have to say Deep Cover will be a favorite one of my. Oh favorites. word! I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop. <laughs> right. Word. You know I mean, early Dred Scott. Yep. Uh, Love or Lust. Even though the Jewel singing is cool, I prefer the instrumental, but that's not on here. I know. Uh, yeah. Wish it was. Now, here's the funny thing about this, though. This was told to me by Def Jeff. He was originally supposed to do the theme song for Deep Cover, not Dr. Dre and Snoop. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, in the movie. he's in the movie. And so he did a song, and then uh, Bill Duke was like, um, yeah, we're going to go with <laughs> Dan <laughs> Snoop. He goes, wise decision. <laughs> you know, again, that's the, how it was told to be by uh, my brother Jeff Fortson. Wow. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Def Jeff. I love Def yeah. Jeff, man. Def yeah. Jeff Snoop. Yeah, I've heard Jeff, Jeff the Snoop. Well, and also, too, since we're on... Uh, you know, have to bring up he got game. Uh, that's a landmark right there. Yeah. First first time first time a rap crew was hired to do in the entire right. soundtrack. Yep. Uh I well see that what's yours, family? I don't want to be the only one. No, 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 that's okay. Um I, I see that juice back there. Well, I got I got juice is dope because it's got just there's just so many joints, man. And, you know, mm -hmm. supervised by the Bomb Squad. Yep. You know, um, right. and and the score for Juice, right? Even though it's not on the soundtrack, the score right. for Juice is dope. Bomb Squad, right. um, you know, um, and I I always loved um, Boys in the Hood. Oh, Boys in the Hood soundtrack, yeah. um, is good. You know what's what funny, you say? Though? Yeah, no, it's funny. I talked about uh, Juice soundtrack this morning with a friend of mine, and the only Cypress Hills, how should be how should how the killer band should have been on that instead of Shoot 'Em Up. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because that would have been a five micro for me. It had that been yeah. on there. I'm like, shoot him up is cool, but that how to yeah. kill a man. Yeah. Perfect. Shoot, shoot him up is like one of those B side joints, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even C side, but you know. Yeah, maybe even C side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <But>. I, <laughs> I do remember but, that because I remember getting the soundtrack and looking at the lineup and like, oh shit, this is just like stacked and right. like, oh, new Cypress Hill because Cypress Hill was like on fire at that point. Right. And then I heard it and it was like, hey, yeah, cool. okay, it's it's cool. It's yeah. all right. But um, that how to just kill a man that should have been on there. That would have been a certified classic. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's a great soundtrack. Speaking of soundtracks, or uh, since you said uh, Bomb Squad did, you know, I was juiced. Uh, this is not a hip hop soundtrack. However, these producers did uh, produce probably one of the greatest <laughs> hip hop albums, Dust Brothers. I'm gonna have to say Fight Club. Yeah, then, good call. You know what I'm saying? So, top to bottom, the production on here is crazy. It is. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Good call on on Fight Club with the Dust Brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Wow. I know. I, I know another one I was going to bring up because I wanted your one your opinion on is uh, I I love the Trespass soundtrack. Oh, yep. Yeah, and I'm looking at the poster right now. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that that's a, that's a classic, and of course PE's on that too. Do what I yep. gotta do. Yep. Yep. That's that's a good one. Even exactly. though I, there's a couple songs I do skip over, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna yeah. say which ones, but you yeah. know, <laughs> there's a couple yeah. fillers on there. But most, yeah, but it's a solid uh, soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, uh, of course, CB4. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. CB4 I, is another good one. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Jenny knows. I was Shout wondering to- if. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say. Well, then there's the Lean on Me soundtrack. Oh, yeah. uh, I ain't making it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Sonic. That's yeah. Sonic. That's a Sonic. And uh, and and that has the that has the OG version of of Kane's "Lean on Me" too. Yes. Um, yeah. It's a great song. Yes. Yep. One of my favorite hip hop soundtrack songs, not necessarily the whole soundtrack, is "Posse" by Intelligent Hoodlum. Oh yeah, man! Such a great song. Man, also, what a banger. also top choice click. Yes, I think to myself quite uh, often was a good song. Wow, too. yeah, yeah, that was a good song too. Dope stuff, bro. Yeah. I love, I love Posse. Posse is like one of my favorite movies. <laughs> Do you have a big posse? Doctor? <laughs> I was just gonna say. too much posse. I got too much posse, too right? Too much posse, That's right? You know what? Yeah, wow, posse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. A lot of people are like, "Yo, what?" But I love no, posse. No, no, no. It's a great movie. Taste. No, no. Is it? Let me let me tell you something. Since you're a filmmaker, yes, Peter Menzi Jr.'s cinematography, yes, awesome, yes, awesome in that. Yep, it's like a spaghetti western. It oh. is. It really is. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Maybe yeah, and you can tell Mario people people's was definitely enjoying and shooting himself. <laughs> but <laughs> but, but the, the movie was cool. You know, I mean, up until then there hadn't been. Well, I'm not gonna say there hadn't been, but the black western hadn't been seen on the big screen for quite some time. So right. uh, you know, him bringing that back, he deserved uh, you know some applause, man. Oh, yeah, and, put, and okay. putting uh, Woody, Woody Strode in it, you know. Oh man, absolutely. The book ended. Yeah. yeah. One thing about yeah. about Mario Van Peebles, kind of, you know, he takes all black talent and you know, young, old, past, present, you know, into one movie. He did that with Panther, and he did that with uh, yeah. Badass too. So. Yeah. Oh, Badass is so dope, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, Love but that. Uh, but there's an underrated. Uh, we I talked about this today too. This score I have it on tape. Strictly business. Mm. Has wow. some classes on there. You know, of course, you have L O N S on there. Uh, nice and smooth, how to flow. Now the B turn by uh, what was my man Laquan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the LQ. So yeah. Uh, yeah. And LL did the title track, right? Yeah, yeah. Fat Rap by Grand Poola. You Remind wow. Me, Mary J. Blige. Yeah, Stephanie Mills. I mean, 
Now, of course, uh, you called and told me about Jeff Reed. Red. <laughs> so I hope I get his name, brother's name right. But uh, yeah, classic right there. I got, I, I, got it, but... I got one for you. The okay. Living Large soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. On, on Def Jam. Yeah. Yep. And you can't even find the movie anywhere. I've never seen that movie. It's a good movie. Is it? It's, it's basically uh, busted loose all over again. What's funny is oh. that, <laughs> I mean, just for 1990, but Michael Schultz directed Busted Loose. With, right. Uh, so it's, no, was it Busted Loose? No, pardon me. Any which way is up. What's the movie with uh, with your pride where he uh, gets part of uh, uh, he plays a multiple character. I think it might have been uh, any which way is up. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah, it's who, basically who directed, the same movie. Wait, who directed Bustin' and Loose then? Oh, I, I got it. Michael Schultz. I think. Why am I thinking Cindy Forte? I could be or George Stanford Brown. Oh, Oscar Scott. Scott. Oh, let's see. I don't know who that is. Who? Oh, uh, Scott. Okay, yeah, that's one that got me too. Yeah. Okay. Man. Go ahead, uh, C Doc. What's yours? Um, no, I just wanted to shout out um, the Living Large soundtrack because it's got. It's it's a it's basically a Def Jam compilation album, but right. it's got two Jungle Brother joint Jungle Brothers right. joints on there that that aren't anywhere else, yeah, which is kind of dope. Boy, what's the damn? And the name? Oh, and also uh, Don Newkirk. <laughs> yeah, Don Newkirk's on there. Don Prince Balls, homie. Yep. Mm-hmm. Don Newkirk. That's right. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't BWP on that too? Uh, I think so. I don't remember. I got. I got it somewhere okay. over there. Then not there, in, not, in arm, not in arm's length. Right. Then there's, it's a terrible movie, but uh, Street Fighter. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great soundtrack. Street, it's a great soundtrack. You know, Far Side. Who else you got on here? The Bums, Rascals. Yeah, Chuck, yeah. Chuck's, on, Chuck's on there. Oh yeah, sure yep. is. Another level. Wow. Yeah. We have Rumbo uh, in the jungle. Rumbo in the jungle. jungle. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, ice cubes on there, right? Yeah. There ice cube joint on there? Sure is. Uh, yeah, ice Street Fighter. Title, title song. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn, y'all are like digging deep. Right? So, so Chuckified, what about you? I mean, my favorite uh, soundtrack track has got to be Beat Street Break- Breakdown. Yeah, but uh, Grandmaster Flash, Melly Mel, Word. yes, love that friggin' track. Yes, there, there it is, M Rock. I have a very beat up copy of that on vinyl. Very much That's so. What's up. Yeah, you know we. It's funny, Vashon. Before we had you on, mm-hmm. I wanted to go back and watch both Breaking movies because I haven't okay. watched them like since I was a kid. You okay. can't find Breaking anywhere on streaming. Movies. Nope. And it's out of print. Yeah. <laughs> they had a limited run on uh Shout Factory. They had the uh oh. yeah, the, the two movies on Blu-ray. And uh, you know, went to Amazon, see if I can, you know, buy a copy. A hundred dollars and up. I'm like, ah, wow. geez. <laughs> <laughs> then I go to Shout Factory's uh website and uh they're out of print, they're like no more. That's it. Uh. Wow. Yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, but I have them, though. I have two of them. You know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so. Me uh, the Vida Loca. Yes. Crazy. Yes. Boss. Yeah. Run, catch, kill. Yep. The video version. Now, I don't think the that the the, uh, the one on the soundtrack was the same, though. It might be a little different. Oh, say. okay. Mm-hmm. That's it also up. has that Tribe Called Quest on there, too. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, then comes the papes. I think that's it. It comes the papes, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's still, it was still the um, man that uh, the thing about that. There's another version of that song that has Africa from the JBs on it, okay. and it's only on the single. It's they haven't released it anywhere else. 
and I, and I got a compilation album once some weird compilation album and it said it was supposed to be that version and it's not that version at all so okay. uh, you gotta Menace to Society, yeah. Uh, you know what? Yep. I like a couple songs on Menace. No disrespect, but for me, it was uh, it was all about Death Becomes You. <laughs> yeah. Death, yeah, Death, yeah, and Brand Nubian. Uh, yeah. I that, have some cuts on here, too. That, um, that uh, I realized um, not that long Gettle ago, Bird actually. should have been on it. To be honest, yeah, um, but that's got a that's got a Lynch Bob song on it. That was um, the last Lynch Mob joint with JD before he went to jail. Mm-hmm. Which one again? Uh, the Menace to Society soundtrack. Uh, oh, uh, Gorillas. Uh, was it collaborator? Gorillas ain't gangster. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think he may have been on this one too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's on that one. It, it was that was before he he went away. Okay. And it, shout out to JD. He just got out yeah. not that long ago, so and he's back making music again. Yeah, shout out to Dasky D too. I shout out to him, who's also oh. a filmmaker now too. Word. Yeah, so he directs music videos. I think he has a horror movie he's working on. I could be wrong. Oh. But, uh, yeah. So shout out to him too. That's what's up, Jenny. Mm-hmm. Jenny what's your favorite soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, come on. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, you could get me in so much trouble. Oh, for that question. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have an opinion. Come on. Can't go with a lean on me. Um. I no, I I I'd have to go with you probably with juice. Yeah. 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 It has. Yeah. Somebody else put uh, above the rim on here too. What was that? Above the rim. Oh yeah. Before I forget, New Jersey Drive. Oh. Volume two. That one right there. I mean, all the soundtracks. I'll be done. One is good, but that too, though, man. E Brothers and Jim the Cabbages Invasion. And yep. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. New Jersey Drive had had so much music, it was needed two albums. Yeah, two. Volume two. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, cool. Doc or, or Rashawn, either one. So, who did, you know, you, you brought up uh, He Got Game. Who produced that, Doc? So. The thing about He Got Game was it was supposed to be P.E.'s reunion with the Bomb Squad. And that didn't quite happen like that. Um, so uh, Chuck or, or Hank and, and Keith Shockley did a couple of joints. Um, but I guess the, the, the schedule was so tight since it was for the movie that uh, they ended up bringing in some other producers to help finish fill it out finish the album um so uh you know then gary g Wiz, who was a also part of the bomb squad gary did a couple of joints and then they brought in some uh guys like um uh, uh stud uh uh laquanum um and uh who's a uh abnormal is on a couple of joints um eric sadler supervised a couple of things so, uh, so yeah, it, it, it um, hodge so hodge. yeah, hodgepodge of, of producers, but uh, yeah, that was that was exciting stuff, man. <laughs> Rocky Five, <Ray. laughs> and he loves Hammer. <laughs> there's a there's a reason why we're not talking about Rocky Five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, Sly's bad '90s uh, era. <laughs> Not even Rocky could save it. No. <laughs> yeah, he or was just back, back, yeah, yeah, back to back, back to back bombs at that time. It was funny, man. I don't, I didn't think Rocky would ever make any kind of comeback at all after that. But you know, oh, can't count the man out. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, you know? but. Uh, 
Who's the man? Oh. Yes. Classic. My favorite House of Pain song. Oh, man. Really? I just talked about that, too. Yes. <laughs> yes. What song is that? That, who's the man? That's the name of the song. Yeah, the title track, yeah. yeah. Oh, the title yeah. track. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yep. That and Hidden Switches. That's oh, where the trouble was at. Yeah. <sighs> he, yeah. He was killing it. <laughs> By the board. Yo, yeah. man. Hidden Switches is crazy. And of course, uh, what's next on the menu? Yep. Now, um, I know Heavy D did a song called "Who's the Man," but it's not on the soundtrack. Right. Uh, but you know, he did do a song called "Who's the Man." But you know who directed that video? Probably don't. The, the "Who's the Man" video for him? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, Mr. Training Day himself, Antoine Fuqua. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'll be damned. Yeah. Pittsburgh's own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of these guys, man, that make the transition from uh, music videos to uh, to doing major motion pictures now. You know, yeah. Preston, Preston Whitmore. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I mean, you cut you off. Oh, no. Uh, you know, you have guys like Preston Whitmore uh, yep. who wrote uh, the treatment for uh, what's, what's the NWA video? Uh, excuse me right now. On the Niggas for Life album. Uh, when they rob the bank. Oh, God. um, uh, 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 appetite for appetite for uh, destruction. destruction. Yep. Yeah. So you have him doing that. John Demps was the cinematographer, right, of that mm-hmm. video. He was also second unit on Breaking One. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Right. And on that movie, uh, Breaking, uh, Robert Richardson. Was a cinematographer for uh, Kill Bill. He was on the second unit as well. Oh, so wow. it all ties back in together. So, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Robert Richardson worked for, yeah, worked, uh, worked for Quentin a lot and Oliver Stone yeah. a lot. Natural yeah. Natural Killers, Wall Street. Yep. I mean, man, it's crazy. Ridiculous. And, and, and Scorsese a couple of times too. Yes. Yep. It's really yep. Casino, I believe. Casino, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like Michael Ballhouse, but I thought the casino for me, I love the look of that film. Really? I did. You like casino? <laughs> um, as a movie, yeah. I think I now don't get me wrong, casino was without a doubt a classic. But casino is like for me go to. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've seen Goodfellas too much. But casino oh, for yeah. me, man, it's just like hmm. seeing Pesci go completely zero to one hundred <laughs> for three hours. You know what I mean? As Nicky said, tall man, it's just like it's just so classic. You know what I mean? So definitely, I agree. And Sharon Stone was incredible in that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, she, she was, was great. She was amazing. Yeah, man, yeah, man. that's it's true. Strong though, man. I mean, I love Casino, but man, Goodfellas is hard. Oh. Yeah, that's Goodfellas is mine. Like. Casino like is like twenty minutes too long for me. It's Towards like, the end, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what though? I can say the same thing about Goodfellas at the end of that. Some of that needed to be shaved a little bit because you knew he was eventually going to get busted. All that cocaine he was snorting and yeah. dipping and dodging the police. It's like, okay, when's the arrest <laughs> coming? <laughs> you knew it was coming, but it was like Scorsese was holding it too long, or you know. I, I don't I don't I don't know man that's that whole sequence that whole sequence that starts with the May I forget the date May 12th or whatever it is 1980 and oh that's just like one of my favorite like parts of the film and he, he wakes up in the morning he's going to try to sell the guns the Jimmy and all that stuff and he's making sauce and oh man. <laughs> it's, it's, so awesome. it's, uh, it's yeah. awesome it's awesome window and ugh, yeah great. looking for the helicopters you want to see helicopters yeah I'll show you helicopters yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo don't get me wrong because Goodfellas definitely gold standard in, in gangster cinema but from you know this casino I'm always going back to it you know what I mean gotcha yeah maybe it's just the look of Robert Richardson's look I, I he has a he has a that he has really kind of developed the style by then, the high key lighting yeah. kind of style and stuff. So yeah, right. so yeah, I can see that. Yeah, interesting, cool. What All about right, what the you- uh, soundtrack uh, for Higher Learning? 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, that one I didn't really give a chance. But Poetic Injustice, poetic, excuse me, Poetic Injustice. Poetic Justice, yeah, I fucks with. I mean, Daz, niggas don't give a fuck. That album, that right. song, got one in a million. <laughs> you know, of course. You know, smoking that too, right? You know, smoke. Is it? I believe so. Okay. I was looking at Pyro Learning. Yeah, I believe so. Let's see if it is. I don't have it with me, too. Neither. Damn. Yeah, I haven't heard of the Higher Learning soundtrack forever. It's got two uh, it. cube tracks on it. I haven't seen that movie forever. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. Not since the theater, I think. Right. Another Rappaport movie here. Clockers. Oh, okay. Oh, Clockers is good too. Clockers is good, yeah. Yeah. Rappaport. So that would be uh, Zebrahead. That's another one. Yep. Yep. Nas. <laughs> yep. But I think Odin's on that one too, right? Yeah. That's my, believe it or not, that's my favorite song. <laughs> oh, is it? I love that song, man. Because Mo D was so in pocket when he was rapping. Yeah. He was so in pocket. Like, that's one thing about, and I'm not. You know, there ain't no names. Uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's so many dudes that got skills, but they'll rap to, to the beat. It's like they, as Chuck D would say, they're beat murderers. Yeah. <laughs> Track stabbers. <laughs> Track stabbers. Yeah. So yep. it's like, man, float <laughs> to the beat, you know. And so when you hear Mo D on Good Time, man, he's so in pocket to where when the track switches up, he never fell off. Yep. But that's Mo D, period. Yeah. He's just, Don't you he's, think? Oh yeah, he's well, so precise. Well, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but there was also a thing about cadence. It's like the cadence has changed, right? It's like you mm -hmm. know that slick talk ain't, ain't there like it used to be, man. So you know, just hearing Modi ride the track like that is amazing. Yeah, and Nas was riding the track too on that song, uh, halftime. Yeah, halftime. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you know a little little offbeat, but you know, you know not to diminish the skills, but you know, just wish you a little more on pocket, more in pocket at times. Oh, as you play knives right now, yeah. Have you yep. got? Right. I've, so I've never seen. I've never seen Zebrahead. Is it any good? Oh, um, what to find good? <laughs> <laughs> it's a rental. It's a rental. Uh, yeah, yeah tougher than leather, zebra head. <laughs> Disorderlies. Yeah. yeah. Disorderly. Yeah, 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 Disorderly. You know, I mean, I remember seeing zebra head at the time uh, with some friends of mine, and we thought it was going to be boys and other two. Oh. And because how it's sold as like, oh, this is boys in the hood, interracial boys in the hood. And then when you find Ross, you're like, ah, okay. Love the soundtrack, <laughs> you know. Uh, but I've seen the thing, you know, some few years ago. Not bad, but definitely it's a rental. It's a rental. Yeah. Yep. But the soundtrack, though, was cool. You know, soundtrack, no, man. Yeah. Nas, Goat, Search. Boss, Modi. Mm -hmm. Search had a song there? What song was that? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, Puff the Head, it's called. Oh, yeah, I didn't remember that one so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was was that, a, I don't think yeah. that that wasn't on um, this, that wasn't on anything else, was it? What? Uh, Search the song. Be? It wasn't on his I think that was a right? Oh, I don't remember, man. I don't know, Jenny, was it? Jenny's big uh, search. Uh, no, it's yeah. not on. The, it wasn't on his album. So <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah. 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 I, don't, I, don't remember, I don't remember that album. I have it. I remember playing. You know, of course, back to the grill and right. That's, I think that's that's about it. Days of the week. <laughs> days of the week. Did he have the days of week? Days of days of the week. And week, um, yeah. I was like, I was like, here it comes. Yep. So. Yeah. Yeah. I like that joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to cactus and you know uh, uh Well well yes. Yeah, I know. 
much respect. I know. Sure. There's, there's there's joints I like on the on the uh, Pete Nice Daddy Rich album too, but oh absolutely, it, but it ain't third album. base, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but oh, but uh, again, Rat Bastard was directed by uh, Brett Ratner. Yep. The video. So. Yep. The video. Yeah. And Brett Ratner also did um uh the uh from Greatest Misses was the the JMJ remix. Oh, yeah. Louder than a bomb. Louder than a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that, and I thought it was wrong, but no. Yes. Yeah. So the, the video for that, um, Brett Ratner directed that. Oh wow. See, that's what I'm saying. P.E. a criterion stop bullshit i know right you know, come on if you guys could do beast of boy anthology P e. deserves that give it a, four, does- a 2k a 2k yes. uh, restoration audio commentary yep. you know, they, they deserve it because the videos were crazy especially yeah. uh yeah but yo man i have somewhere in my archives because mm-hmm. universal originally was going to do um back when pe did the they put out the power to the people in the beats compilation right. mm-hmm. it was supposed to be a dvd um companion piece to it as well that had all the videos and chuck recorded commentary tracks for them oh wow yeah oh, cool. so i so i have the somewhere i have the dvd commentary reference <laughs> disc <laughs> So, yeah. with his, it's just the videos with his commentary tracks, and I have some of the reference DVDs as well. You know, so. my dream would have been man, Chuck in his heyday should have been in the Carpenter movie, man. I would have loved to have seen him in <laughs> right a, a They Live or you know something. That's like why you know I know Chuck is not too big on videos, and you know he I, I, I oh. don't say. I don't do movies, <laughs> but you need to be in a movie, man. You need to be, a, you know. I, I'm lucky. I, I'm lucky. I get them in mind. So right, right. Even though it's like a few, few minutes, I've seen. I've seen the cameos. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, it. that's what he's like. He's like. He's like, I hated doing music videos because I'd be there all day. Sometimes go back and do another day and shit. Yeah, well, yeah that's it. That's that's why I still that's why I still have a job shooting his music videos. Cause he like shows up for an hour. He's like, "All right, are we done?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guess." <laughs> <laughs> so no takes. It's just one take. Uh, yeah, no, he'll he'll give me he a couple just, of takes. Okay. It, he needs a couple of takes to kind of get up to speed. Right. So that's the one thing I've learned about working with him. But uh, <laughs> once, once, I, much, once, I, once, I, once I can, I can get him in the group, part out and uh, tweet that out. No. Huh? I, I give Chuck a couple of takes, and you know, and so he can figure it out. We'll flip that out and make that a promo. Okay, he'll, say, he'll tell you straight up. He's like, I don't remember the lyrics. He's like, I don't know this shit. So, no, don't tell me Chuck gotta have the cue cards up there for him. Come on, no, no I can't even do that because then he looks like he's reading. So, uh, but uh, we need yeah, uh, but- we need Chuck D and Ice T on CSI. That's what we need. <laughs> or what is it? Law and Order. Law and yeah. Order. They'd be part. <laughs> what, what were you gonna say, Rajon? Oh, that would be something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you were saying something else, but <laughs> yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, I mean, shoot, I would love to see them in some type of thing, a vehicle, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, he was. That is true, Kevin Taylor. He, he was, was an anchor man. Absolutely. The anchor man. He was an anchor man. Oh, yep. He was uh well, deleted. So he played a bank. Yeah. Show. Yeah. They cut. They cut that subplot out. But then there's like a like special edition version that has all the Chuck stuff in it. Oh my so. god, that's amazing. And and yes, he was also yeah. in. Um, yeah, the, the Alan Smithy burn Hollywood burn. He was in that as well. Yeah, with Julio. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, he Dude, all these names coming up all night, man. He knows every one of these jokers. Like <laughs> knows. But like, this, like this right here, hmm. should have been adapted and turned into a movie. Just the name yes. alone, Fear of a Black Planet. I know, yeah, right? It could be a movie, right? Yep. Or the enemy strikes black. Something, yeah. Post-apocalyptic uh, 
PE movie. That's what yep. you did. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 I just, hey, I just gave you the idea. Uh, boom, right there. Right <laughs> yeah. <in that. laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta Free convince market. the man. Yeah, you know, that would have been something, man. Yep. But, oh, yeah. Shout out Break North Radio, the old Spectrum City joint. Check out the radio on the South Central soundtrack. That's right. Uh, nice. Uh, man. Okay, South Central. Uh, I don't remember too much sound on the soundtrack except uh, the one on the song that's on there. Classic example. That's the only yes. thing I, I remember. And that's I love that song. Love, great song. It's all right. Love that song. Yes. I, I found the, I actually have the CD single promo somewhere. Right. For that joint because there's a remix on yeah. the cd single but like you can't find that song anywhere man it's hard you know who did that video paul hunter paul hunter did that video yeah, yeah. wow when i used to work i used to work at a uh, a blockbuster <laughs> back in oh we're, so wait we're we're, we're, we're we're both <laughs> blockbuster alumni no shit <laughs> oh. yeah <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> Yeah, the blue shirt, the yep. and tan pants, and all that. I used to. Uh, Paul Hunter used to come in there. Word. Yeah, and he used to uh, rent a lot of movies. You know, Blade Runner and all that stuff. Man, that brother was talented, man. And you know, uh, originally he was supposed to do uh, Constantine. Oh, he, the Keanu. Yeah, Keanu Reeves yeah, movie. Yeah, but he. No kidding. Yeah, but he did Bulletproof Bunk, and you see what happened. So uh. he did Bulletproof Bunk, and then. Just like Hype Williams. Oh, uh-uh, yes. Yeah, so I'll still have my car. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Just like Hype this Williams. This is my, empo- this is my employee card, so that's what that is. You, you, you need to clean out your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. What were you saying? I'm sorry. What were you oh, saying no, about Hype Williams? No, no, no. Yeah, Hype Williams is supposed to do... Um, what's the shit, man? Speed Racer. Really? Yeah, before the Wachowskis. Wow. So, and he didn't because uh, Belly was cheer hell for him? Yeah, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's like I said, man, a lot of these dudes had that had that career, man. You ever seen a movie called Soldier Boys? With uh Lorenz not Lorenz Tate, but uh Tyron Turner. No. It, it was kinda like a mixture of Menace to Society uh, and uh, what's the movie? Uh, Dirty Dozen. Wow, really? Yeah, so it came great. on HBO. Yeah, it's great B movie. It came out around '95. They uh, they used to have this thing on HBO where they have like Friday night premieres. Yeah, and yeah, so I remember. That, yeah. Right, that was one of the movies. But if you look at the credits of the movie, Mauro Friari was a cinematographer for it. Who okay. Who wanted to do Training Day? Yeah. But the second unit director was Matthew Levitecki and wow. Dan Lewandowski. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. So it's amazing where these guys get their start from. Just like when you, uh, yeah. you know, uh, Jay Roach worked on uh, Easier Said Than Done. Yeah. Easy yep. Easy Video. Yep. So all these guys, wow. man. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's crazy, man. Absolutely. Yeah, Matt, Matt, uh, Matty Libatique is, he's dope, man. He's like, he, after Ernest Dickerson, he's the, my favorite cinematographer that's worked with Spike. Right. You know? I mean, it was killing it. Strata Compton to, yeah. I mean, nonstop. Yeah. Nonstop. Now, he's, listen, let me get his brother some props, man. Check out uh, Tommy Maddox. If you're a fan of Snowfall, you'll see his cinematography, uh, and that, he also worked on Strata Compton as well. Oh, word. Did our second unit work, so, you know, great cinematographer. I haven't, I haven't watched Snowfall yet. I know you're a huge fan. Well, so. Man. <laughs> I know. I gotta, so. Even, it's, you it's, know, it's on my list of a thousand things I got to catch up on. Yeah. It's a, it's a great looking show. And at first, you know, the first two seasons, I was like, I don't know, man, we were kind of slow. Maybe I should pull out, but that third season, the look and feel of everything, once... You know, you kind of get a sense that, uh, you know, Walter Mosey got a hold of uh, what this show is supposed to be out. Yeah. Everything fell into place. Wow. You know what I mean? So uh, but definitely uh, check it out, family. Yeah, I, re- I, I, I remember you were the one that um, 
like in the first place, I was I asked because you had posted up something about it. I'm like, so what do you think? Should I watch it? And you're like, yeah, I don't know. But it was like early yet. So. <laughs> yeah, but man, that third season came around. I was like, okay, yeah, this they stepped their game up. In fact, man, I, I had to write Tommy Maddox to his in his pay, his inbox and in Instagram. I was like, hey, brother, look at your show. Killing it. He's like, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, just, I just I just lost one of my group members because I haven't watched it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but well, hey, it's my first training family, so check it out, huh? Yeah, I'll have to. So, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up now. Um, you want to tell everybody about your podcast, please? Let the people know. Yes, your discretion advised. It's on uh, Spotify, not on YouTube. I kill that YouTube channel, but we're on Spotify. But you can find me on uh, IG, the same name, your discretion advised podcast, or you can hit me if you're shocking on the spirit of black film critic. Or you can hit my main man, Fully Love, at Fully Love, F-U-L-L-E-E-L-O-V-E, my man Soup from Jurassic 5. Yeah. So, yeah. So, check us out, man. Word up, definitely. Well, thank, thank you, you sir. Me, thank you for having me. Yeah, oh. man. Oh. Absolutely. Our okay, pleasure. Go, go. Thanks for thanks thanks for thanks for coming on, especially at short notice. Because I know I just hit you up last week. I'm like, yo, want to be a guest on the show? <laughs> All good, man. You know I'll do it for you, family. Tell Chuck nah, to say what's up, man. Yeah, we'll do. Absolutely. Appreciate it, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, then. Thank you all. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jim Rock. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. All right, peace. That was a great interview, dude. Yeah, man. I, I figured that one would be fun. So, yeah. good call. Yeah. Thank you. Blockbuster I, I, alumni. Yeah. <laughs> Little did I know, too. We had that in common. So, yeah, I hadn't I hadn't talked actually talked to him in a while. So, that was good to catch up. That's awesome, so. dude. You yeah. definitely got to watch Snowfall. That shit's good. Yes. I have to. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I know how it is, dude. You got kids, you got a job, you got all this stuff going on. Like, when do you watch TV without losing sleep? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. And I hear more things have been added to your list. Oh, there's always more things <laughs> that we added. <laughs> yes, of course. You know. He did, Daddy O just texted me while we were in the middle of the show. He's like, make sure you download that stuff. I'm like, I got it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pull this. I gotta pull this comment in from Kevin Taylor. Yes, Kevin, that is exactly what we're going for. <laughs> like, conversation, geeking out, like that's what this show is, dude. Like, yep, yep. That's a you know, you were talking about, about how you did your um, what was it, fifty and fifty. Oh, when I oh when I was uh when I got the um yeah yeah the make it or break it the song on the you make know, it or break it. That's how Hammer got his start, right? Oh, really? Make it or break it? At least on K Day, yep. Wow! Did they make it or break it? Do you know who he <laughs> is now? <laughs> what song was it? Uh You remember? Was it turned this mother out? And it started. I don't remember. Pump it up. Here's the news. The very first one. <laughs> very first one. Nah, I gotta I gotta look that up and see what um, be, let's get it started. Or uh I think mean, uh, turn this mother out. The thrill is gone? No. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. From nineteen eighty seven that's what it says. It was it was Let's get it started. Yeah. yeah. That's how we got started. Wow. <laughs> Listen, I can't, Ironic. Wait. I can't wait until, so after next week, I can't wait to do a proper interview with Jenny or Jenny because people are going to lose their minds. Like all of the stories that I have heard since the short time that I have known JOJ, I'm just blown away. Like what the fuck? Like he was, was there, like, man. I know he was there. You do, you do know the the Orange Juice Jones reference on a constant basis. You do know that story, do you not? Well, you can yeah. tell everybody right now if you want. You yeah. want to take the, take us out with that story? Yeah, take us out orange with the Orange Juice Jones. 
Orange Juice Jones um, came to the radio station, asked me if I would go out for dinner with him to an oyster bar and played me Public Enemies cassette tape before they had even pressed anything. Nation of Millions, right? Mm-hmm. And that was the first time. And what do you think of that? Um, those are some angry young men, but I've never heard anything like it. And you're giving me that tape. <laughs> was it Nation that was or was it... Uh... Was it their? Was it Nation or was it what? Was it uh, Yo Bum Rush's show? It was very fr- before they even were. It was Bum Rush's show. Oh, so it was Yo Bum Rush's show. Yeah, they weren't even okay. out yet. Yeah, and and I all I remember is going back to the radio station and saying, "Yo, you have no idea what I just heard." <laughs> and. And we were calling everybody trying to figure out. It was just like, nope, don't don't touch it until until it comes out. Wow. Mm. Well, <laughs> well, you well, you know, PE's influence uh, on the West Coast, you know, because um, as soon as as soon as they had test test pressings of nations. They were on tour with uh, with NWA, and they gave Easy and Dre a copy of Nations. So if you listen to if you listen to Straight Outta Compton, you can hear the influence. Well, listen, I just I was on the phone with Joe Cooley, and he said something about hearing a record that he was just blown away by. Mm-hmm. That was P, and he never it's like it never made it onto an album. Oh, and he thought it was the most sick thing he'd ever heard. That's I'd weird because they, they don't usually. Chuck was never one to keep stuff in the vault, so I wonder what that was. Yeah, hmm. it just. But he brought it up. He said he was somewhere when it was when he was with Rodney O, and yeah. he heard this record and was just like, "What? When is that coming out?" <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> And in, and I guess it never did. Huh. Wow. Um and we gotta figure out where that is, Doc. Yeah, seriously, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Huh. But you know, back then, K Day and Death Jam were like this. You know, but so they said, Don't touch it. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. All right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, Jenny, tell us about our, our guest next week. Uh, pull that book up there. I'm going to put you full screen so everybody can see it, since you're the one that got us this interview next week. Soren Baker. Of gangster rap. Soren Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, it's kind of like what you said, um, C-Doc. He... he you know, he's not the, he really dives in deep. Yeah. He really dives in deep. Yep. And he's not doing any kind of sensationalized interviews. He's not really worried about what so-and-so said about, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He no, he wants wasn't. He- to know the real thing. He wants to know the craft behind it. He wants to know the thought process behind it. He's yeah. read liner notes like you guys have read liner notes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So it'll be fun to it'll be fun to turn the camera on him and see what he has to say. You know, exactly. Cause, exactly. He because he's real know. famous for doing that to other people. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> well that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that one. So next week y'all Thorn Baker. Thorn Join Baker. us again. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. M Rock. Thank Thanks for keeping the beats. Thank you, sir. Just one more movie mention that I forgot to mention. It just hit me. King yeah. of New York. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Abel Ferrara. Abel yeah. Ferrara always calls Schooly D, man. Yeah, man. Can't go wrong. Yep. Sorry, just had to get that one out. No, no, no. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought that up because that's one of my. That's a favorite film of mine, and um, 
It's funny because in Abel Ferrara's New York, everybody listens to uh, Saturday Night by School E.D. Like that song is constantly playing as people drive by. Yes. So, Love it. That's the, kind, that's the kind of New York I want to visit. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. You got a time machine? Cause... Yeah. No. That, 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 <laughs> that New York never existed. So, no. Jennifer O'Jenny, welcome to the show. Thanks for thank being you, here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. And so checkified as always, sir. Yeah, Emrock, take that down for a minute. I wanna, I wanna go out a different way tonight. Although I'm digging that instrumental from Rock the Bell. Woo! It's all you, baby. All right. So, as we know. <laughs> <laughs> I am never going to live that down. No, you won't. Dude, not with I mean, him. Not anymore. Amazing. It's amazing. I was listening. I was painting my daughter's room about a month ago, and this shit came on, and my wife goes, what the fuck is that? And I was like, what she do you mean, mean what is that? She had never heard it? It's Jones. No. Wow. Oh, Horster. I was like, you're out, dude. Don't go looking in that closet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been rabbits. Back again. It's Same time next week. Hey, we'll, we'll be back show, again. Y'all. Yep. Great show. Thanks, guys. Peace. Peace. It's C-Doc again.